also another thing I think is very important is to make sure that the child is given as much freedom as possible even though it's risky early on to move around on their own and to be independent in being able to do things. For example, Matthew loves to go to shopping centers. And so we practiced independence skills there by letting him go off on his own first for 10 minutes, then for 20 minutes. And the key there is to be able to have them be able to tell time and then to act on the information that they find from their watch or whatever. Now, not everyone can do this, but Matthew could. And so if he knew he had to be somewhere at two o'clock, what he had to know is when is it two o'clock and then act on the information when two o'clock comes around and then come back to where we are or where he was supposed to be. Once we knew he could do that, then he could be independent. He could go anywhere as long as we knew that he could tell when it was time for him to do something different and then count, be counted on to come back.